You may have seen commercials for some of the plug-in electric vehicles that have hit the market, like the Chevy Volt or Nissan Leaf. Well, they are related to the smart grid too. Here's a charger for an electric car. The time required to fully recharge your battery varies by the voltage of the charger. At 120 volts, it could take from six to eight hours. At 240 volts, two to four hours. And at 480 volts, which could be available at some commercial establishments, it might be as little as 20 minutes. Centerpoint Energy has already begun to prepare for the demands on the electric grid of a large number of electric vehicles being charged across Houston at the same time. In the not so distant future, with new systems and technology, this portable vehicle charger could be tagged to your electric account, which means you can go anywhere and charge your car and the charger will know who to bill. So if you travel to a family member's house, for example, and you need to recharge your car, you can assure them that you, not they, will be charged for the electricity you use to charge your car. So don't worry when your brother-in-law brings his Volt or Leaf over to charge at your house. When the smart grid is in place, electric vehicles will be able to do more than get you from point A to point B. The battery can also store electricity that could be used to power a home in the event of an outage or even be sold back to the grid. Imagine charging your car in your garage overnight when a time of use rate is low, storing the power in the car all morning, and then selling the power back to the grid on a hot summer afternoon when demand for electricity is high and time of use rates are higher. The same is true of personal solar panels and wind turbines. Consumers will be able to use the electricity they generate, or any surplus power they generate could become a source of power for the grid. Centerpoint Energy, always there.